So the, the, the first point is do your homework. Second point. Yep. Second point is you have to make an offer they can't refuse. So in, in order to do this, the offer has to do with, it's a statement of what you're offering to the buyer in exchange for what you want from them, which in yep. most cases is their, is their money, the sale. So um, it has a number of components to it. Uh, it has to do with the price, the terms, the delivery, your guarantee, all those things go into the offer. Yep. So uh, what I uh, tell people to do, uh, for example, in my ebook, Seven Steps to Killer Ad Copy, in that section that says, ask yourself, what's the biggest promise that you can make to your customer that you know you can fulfill? Yep. And what's the most that you can offer for the price you're asking without hurting yourself? Right. A lot of people are either too generous or too stingy, and it takes a number of, uh, of tests sometimes, and it takes a while to discover what I call the sweet spot, yep. where your, your offer and then your series of offers uh, is orchestrated in just the right way. Now, you remember, um, sometimes people will give a free trial or a free something because they've learned through testing that a certain number of those people will become paid buyers, sure. which and the profit from that will more than pay for what they gave away for free in order to get someone to try them. Yep. That's what's called reversing the risk. You yep. put the risk on yourself instead of on the customer because every time a customer does business with a new company, they're taking a risk. Yep. Are, they gonna, are, they, are they going to get what they ordered? Is it going to be... As it was advertised, are they going to be happy with it over the long term? Are all the promises the company made going to going to bear out in real life? They're taking a risk every time they take out their credit card or or pay for what you're you're offering them. So the most the more that you can do in your offer to reverse the risk and put it on yourself with either a strong guarantee, a free sample, a lost leader, a free consultation, a big promise. Yep. That's going to increase your response rate. Absolutely. So, so the offer basically co consists of your product or service, any bonuses or extras that go with it, the price, the terms of, of payment, and the guarantee that goes with it. Too many people that I come across um, think that price is the be-all and end-all, and I'm always saying to them that um, price... I'm not saying you can ask ridiculous amounts for um, uh, for your product, but as long as you're competitive, and studies that were done by PricewaterhouseCoopers show that somebody who's a uh, customer service leader can charge up to 13% more for their product and still get the sale than somebody who doesn't provide great service. So, um, and in, in a lot of cases, 13% in retail can double your profit. Exactly right. The, the key thing that I've learned about price is that price is a function of value. Absolutely. It, it's a function of the perceived value. If someone thinks your widget is worth $10,000, that's what you should be selling it for. Absolutely. If they, if they think it's worth a dollar and a half, that's what you should be selling it for. And if you can't sell it at that price and get a profit, you should pick another business or pick another product. Yep. Couldn't yeah. agree more. So a, a lot of people uh, think that price is a function of what it costs them. Yep. In other words, here's our product cost. Let's double that, and that's our price. Yeah. And and they're uh, they're they're watching money flush down the toilet every time they do that. And a lot of people, um, I was I started working. I did some work for um, a big grocery chain in America, and I, donkeys years ago, a lot, a lot of years ago now. And when I looked at their how they price their products, something that they buy for a dollar may be costing them in real terms a dollar forty because they take into account their shelf space, the wages for the um, the um, shelf loaders. They take into account all those things that are actually sort of hidden costs, and it's amazing what a product can cost. And uh, I talk to people who say, "Well, I bought it for a dollar and I sold it for a dollar twenty, so I made twenty percent." Wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right about that. So that's number two. Make them an offer they can't refuse. Yeah.